<laughs> That's awesome. What's up, Machine Freaks? I hope everybody's feeling froggy fresh as usual. I'm feeling froggy fresh. And if you don't think I'm feeling froggy fresh, then maybe I'm feeling fly. I'm, I'm looking directly into the sun. I, I apologize for the squinting. Yo, whoa, 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 what is this? That's gonna scratch my paint. I'm glad it didn't pop a tire, though. Yet. This thing's a hit, as long as it's running and it's working flawlessly. But uh, as you can see from this spot right here, it's leaking coolant. And as you guys saw the burnout video, it ended up overheating. Burnouts kill machines and kill BMWs. Is this guy stopping? I guess. How's it going? You guys all good? Yeah, right. It, the car overheated. I think a, a coolant line came loose or something. Whatever it may be, we had problems. And it took a full gallon of coolant. We need to fix that. Where is this coolant leak? I threw out my makeshift hood opener. So I gotta use a shovel. I guess that works. Hello, do you guys uh, rent out a coolant or a, a radiator pressure? Like you pressurize the, the radiator? My local automotive shop unfortunately didn't have the radiator tester, so now I'm running out to the city to go get one. I don't really feel like buying one, I just wanna rent one because I don't use it very often. I wouldn't, I wouldn't use it very often, so there's no point in buying one. The cheapest one I found was like $80. It's not worth $80 to me at all. We'll just put $75 down on it, rent it for as long as I want, bring it back, get my $75 back, and I'll be a happy camper. I love stores that rent out equipment. It's it's awesome, it's, it definitely brings customers in the door, and that traffic is what makes those companies money. Now my automotive shop usually does carry stuff like that, but for some odd instance they didn't have this certain part, or this certain tool I guess. They pulled the tool out of the back, and it wasn't gonna work for my car. You know, the BMW, Continues to be a big money waster. You gotta find exact tools for the job. So unless I find the leak manually. All right, so I left an automotive shop and these guys are supposed to carry like everything for, you know, vehicles. I go to Harbor Freight and they have it. They had that radiator tool and it will work with BMWs. I had the manager open it up. We checked out the manual. Things look like they're good. It just really surprised me. Everybody always complains the way I park my truck. Start complaining. I'm in that guy's lane. I'm actually over that line. Well, let's keep complaining. Oh, whoops, I went over this side too. So I'm kind of in this corner. I'm overlapping the yellow here. It's a big rig and I'm far from the entrance. There should be no complaints. I gotta walk. It's healthy for your heart. And my heart appreciates that. My shopping experience was going quite well until I got to the exit and then the buzzer rang off signifying that I possibly might be shoplifting. And then they had to search through my bag. I obviously turned around, walked back in, and allowed somebody to search through my bag. I feel that that would be like an extremely awkward job for like actual shoplifters, like sketchy people or whatever. It's like, yeah, sir or ma'am, I'm gonna have to check through your bag because you probably stole something. Seems a little sketchy to me. You wanna see my pressure tester? My new pressure tester. Upside down. Look at all the pretty colors. Hopefully this works. It says it should work. Hopefully it works. Usually on vehicles you have a radiator cap on the actual radiator, but for some reason I only have this cap and it's on the reservoir. That's what the other store had a problem with. Theirs didn't, didn't work with this kind of system. So this is what my cap looks like. I'll show you what a regular radiator cap looks like. Before I show you, you just gotta keep in mind that this is a BMW, this is not a Dodge, Chevy, or a Ford. So it's a little bit more complicated, which translates to be a bigger pain in the butt. It looks like the Duramax is the same way as the BMW. There's no cap on the actual radiator. I guess I have two vehicles like that. So this is the cap I have. I would say this one's it. <laughs> That's awesome. You gotta love that. So now that that works, now we should be able to hook up some pressure to this and find our leak. Is the leak that bad? Can you guys see that? Right there, there's a leak. As you guys know, 
I can be a messy individual. And not only did I buy the radiator tester, but I also bought something else. Well, I use gloves a lot, as you guys know. Because for some reason I can find the, the grease, I can find the grime. And that's not bad. We have a good time doing that. But you know, when things go on sale, you have to take advantage of that. I asked the manager, hey, how many gloves can I buy? He says, well, usually there's a limit on the coupon. Well, I don't see a limit on the coupon. He says, well, how many do you want? I said, well, well, I use them quite often. So how many can I get? He's like, well, if you want 30 or 60 pair, you can get them. I am the one, the way your son don't need a gun to get respect up on the street. Well, 30 to 60 pair is a little excessive. I find that 13. I am the one, the way your son don't need a gun to get respect up on the street. This doesn't look like 13 to me. What about you? There it is. You know what, those gloves are gonna have to wait. I'll turn them into a new package. Now, if Prince knew how to fetch, I'd have him fetch those gloves. But unfortunately, he's not that disciplined. We might have to fix that. Cole, why didn't you buy a golden retriever? <laughs> now, I remember a while back when I put one of these hoses on, one of them was giving me a difficulty because I actually broke the plastic that it hooks up to. There's absolutely no way that I can put that hose on and have it actually grab something. I broke another one of those things off. Well, I, in my opinion, I didn't break it. It was just so brittle that it kind of broke itself. I guess it's a, a very common thing that happens with these things. I ordered the part. The part was only $15 with shipping. The bad part is, is I'm not sure how difficult it's going to be to change it. I went on a forum real quick and somebody said, all you gotta do is take off the passenger windshield wiper. I'm gonna tell you something right now. I've already started taking off the driver's side windshield wiper. I also have to remove this and, and the firewall to get to it. And hopefully that's it. If that's it, I will be very happy. Tearing into this thing can be a hassle, as you guys know, and as I really know. For example, the windshield wipers, they don't want to come off. I just want to let you guys know that last shot, I chose two sockets. Both sockets are wrong. This one's right. For the future, it's a seven millimeter. I just wanted to prove that I'm human and not a robot. I mean, what? That was not a computer glitch. Here's the part right here. This is the last one I broke. I think this is the first one I broke. So it's it's time to replace it, that's for sure. It looks like there's just a bolt right here. And then that comes out. And then it looks like there's some sort of gasket right around this. One thing's for sure, it's really not too big of a pain in the butt. I like when things aren't a pain in the butt. I wouldn't say it's fly though. Definitely not fly. This is what the part looks like. Well, actually... This is what the part looks like. This is the first one to break. This is the second one to break. I just broke this one because, you know, we bought a new one. And then we just put the parts in the car. And that way we have them when we go to reinstall everything. Piece of junk. I got some fan mail. A gift for you. Hi 3D Machines, enjoy your gift. Hope it comes in handy from Michael D. Thank you, Michael, I really appreciate it. This will definitely come in handy. This is really awesome, and I, and I really do appreciate it. Thank you very much, Michael. Great short segment of mail time.